Warning, this video is filmed as part of my chin cut off and I don't feel like re-recording it. I hope you find a way to accept my flaws and my laziness. Okay, thanks, I love you, bye. Every artist knows that inspiration can strike at any time. We also know that we have general influences that help shape the overall picture of our music. In this video, I'm gonna share some of those special influences that continue to shape me and my career as an electropop artist. They might even inspire you. So let's blast off. Hey baby, it's okay. I will see you at my Konnichiwa Cyborgs, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music helping you become a better songwriter. I make futuristic and outer space inspired electro pop music and every Wednesday on this channel I'm helping others take their music to level 2. If that sounds good, consider subscribing. If not, that'll be super sad and you don't want a sad chon chon, do you? Think about that. The first thing that inspires my music is outer space. Everything out there just has sort of a sense of wonder to it. Kind of evokes curiosity. Shout out to the Mars rover. And honestly, sometimes when I'm feeling stuck, it just kind of puts things in perspective. I think there's just so much out there that we don't know. And like I said, that kind of wonder always inspires me to write, especially when I'm stuck. The next thing that inspires my music are futurescapes or futuristic landscapes. There are so many incredibly talented artists out there that are drawing these things and making them in Photoshop or whatever. It just always makes me wonder, I mean, can you imagine what's possible? Look how far technology has advanced, you know, just in the last 10 years, last five years. Look at the iPhone 10. And again, like outer space, it just provides the sense of wonder for me. And I like that aspect of things and it just helps me write. And if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or even Twitter, or if you're on my VIP email list, this should not be a surprise to you. The next thing that has influenced my career will always be Britney Spears. I mean, what she does, the pop world follows, myself included. And she's just an incredible performer even now. And I think she's just a fantastic person. And and she's always had a good heart and I, I really admire her for that. And the next thing that continues to inspire my music is you guys, the Cyborg family. Hello, shout out. You guys are amazing. You continue to inspire me as our family grows. You keep me in check, you keep me grounded. I'm always listening to your guys' feedback and I always wanna make sure I'm making you guys proud. So you cyborgs are awesome. And of course, to extend on that, my friends and family always inspire me, especially when I'm feeling down and I have a problem that maybe I can't figure out what the actual root of the problem is. You know, my family's always been there. I don't ever take that for granted. They're the OG cyborgs. Another person that I find inspirational is actually Dead Mouse. I think he's an incredibly talented artist and I really, really admire the fact that he does his own mixing and mastering and has taken the time to learn audio engineering and is just very knowledgeable. So he's a huge inspiration, especially on my next record. I love the sounds that he used and I love that he kind of experiments with EDM in such a different way so he's awesome and I've definitely found a strong respect for him especially now and another group of people that really inspire my music all the time are like TVXQ, Girls Generation, pretty much just every k-pop artist out there. The amount of work and training that all of these people go through over there some of the shit they have to deal with is just incredible and I just really admire the work ethic and it just continuously inspires me to work harder and do better and create awesome music. I just always look to them for inspiration because their work ethic is just absolutely phenomenal and I, I can't say enough about them. Another overall influence that continues to shape my career, the sunshine. I'm pointing out a window. You can't see it, but out that window, there is some sunshine and blue sky. I am made for the warmth. I've lived in Oregon all my life and it is always rainy and cloudy and eventually I will get the hell out of here. Every time it's sunny and warm, I just feel good and it inspires me to write happy music and good feeling stuff, dancey, ah, the warm weather. I love you so much. Next thing, Tomorrowland Festival, theme park, movie, all of it. The audience connection that I've seen at Tomorrowland is incredible. I've never been there myself, but I hope to eventually because it's just, you guys are awesome. 
the film I thought was really really good based on the Disney not theme park but like the section of the theme park and of course it's futuristic it's outer space I mean that's kind of my thing so sometimes when I'm listening to my own music I imagine it kind of playing on my own little futuristic planet that I envision all of my music playing at and the last special overall influence I have for you today is actually probably a little surprising and that is the Christmas and holiday season Christmas and just the overall holiday season of all traditions is very near and dear to my heart. If you have ever followed me on Instagram, you know how special Christmas is to me. And I come from a house that way over the top decorated. And I have so many fond memories of our Christmas parties that we used to do at my old house. Actually, you guys can't see it, but right over there are a bunch of Christmas boxes filled with decorations that I'm currently doing in my new apartment. <laughs> We used to start on November 1st, okay? We were that house. But it's funny, during the holiday season, it's always a huge peak of my writing season for music. And I tend to write more personal stuff during the holiday season because, you know, I'm filled with love and joy and sometimes sadness. And I've had some major sad experiences happen during the holiday season. My house was burglarized. Uh, my mom and dad got divorced. I mean, like, there's been, there's been some shit like everyone has had during the holiday season. So that tends to open in that little wavelength of love and uh, sadness so that's usually when I write a ton and that's a really good therapy session for me so usually by January I'm pretty tired but Christmas is definitely an overall inspiration and it always will be and it's when I'm most creative and it's very fitting that right now I'm recording an album and since we are in that season I'm doing a lot of writing bitch let me tell you so yeah those were some overall influences of my music and kind of me as a person as well. I understand that this probably was not the funniest or most educational video, but maybe, maybe some of these inspire you. Which by the way, what does inspire you? What inspires your art? Leave me a comment below, let me know. And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. I'm Jonathan Miller and that's gonna be it. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Madane! Christmas on the dance floor!